you uh, uh, when you came in today, right over here, uh, <laughs> when, when uh, you came in today, Jeff was just talking about his new course or his course in entrepreneurial journalism. Um, where students have to learn how to do business plans and how to how to think through the markets, etc. Um, you seem a bit like an accidental uh, businessman. Um, why don't you give us a real short uh, take on how you got into this, and then secondly, what advice you'd give to our students as they go into uh, becoming little uh, entrepreneurs um, uh, with their projects? I'm not so good at the advice part. I'll try something as I come back, but. Uh uh, you're completely right. This is all a happy accident. I'm no entrepreneur. And as I tell people, I really did grow up with a plastic pocket protector in high school. I really did have thick black glasses taped together. And while I didn't belong to the AV club, I was in the debating team, which was more unfortunate since it left me with the uh, fallacy that logic and reason matter. <laughs> um, the deal with uh, Craigslist history in uh, 94, I was at Charles Schwab, you know, the discount brokerage. I was evangelizing the net for any kind of brokerage business, because its brokerages are mostly about information, I think. And uh, I saw a lot of people helping each other. Uh, early 95, I figured I should uh, give a little back to the community, too, and started a simple list, uh, a CC list, for uh, friends um, about uh, arts and technology events in San Francisco. Then just started listening, got suggestions, did something about uh, suggestions that made sense to me, and repeated. Now Jim uh, is in charge of that, and he makes sure that repetition occurs. And again, we just keep uh, plugging away and focusing on uh, doing what feels right. And the deal is that uh, we do focus on what feels right. Uh, we've never had anything like a business plan and to call what we do ha a business model is uh, laughable. Jim and I are both engineers, but we're uh, reasonably smart, and we uh, haven't screwed up much overall. Me individually, I've screwed up pretty badly a couple times, but recovered, and then Jim, uh, let's say, finished the recovery, including the hard parts. I'm going to push you a little bit more on the innovation, though. Okay. The, what we need desperately in, this, in, the, in the news industry is innovation. What these students are trying to learn is how to innovate. The advice you gave, which I've quoted in my book, by the way, <laughs> to get out of the way, is make something, make a platform, people will use it in these ways, right? Okay. You, have it, you have advice in you. So for people trying to create something new using the combination of the world and technology, we're just to start, we're just telling them to avoid. Um, there's nothing uh, innovative about what we do, and I really have no vision. Uh, <laughs> Like the things which work for us are just recognizing that we do have lots of shared values, including that uh, treat people like you want to be treated thing, and then just follow through with that. Be seriously engaged with whoever your customers are or community are, uh, are. Like right now, I'm in a way the big public face for the site. I uh, respond to emails. If you email me, uh, I'm, I'm Craig at Craigslist.org, and uh, that's how people get hold of me. Although if you do have questions, Maybe wait till Saturday when I'm home. But uh, you know, the deal is that we're seriously engaged with people. Um, we avoid a lot of the business stuff. For example, when we give talks, we don't uh, do PowerPoint. If you have to, don't please don't read the slides to people. <laughs> um, we also see that, uh, like again, when I give uh, these couple of uh, commencement talks, uh, we uh, I tell I'm going to tell people. Uh, don't read a prepared speech unless you're a gifted orator and know that. Uh, that's not true for me. So the deal is if you uh, wing it while knowing what you're doing, you'll be uh, better off. Uh, regarding the uh, corporate environment, um, our nation's foremost organizational behaviorist is uh, Scott Adams, who uh, writes Dilbert. And as soul-crushing as the news is, his depiction of corporate life is uh, exaggerated but reasonably <laughs> accurate. Um, that is very, yeah. you just have a bunch of good advice. Yeah. About the relationship with yeah. the people in the community, that matters. Yeah, and then uh, trust your community. You will find some people there you can't make happy, but sometimes disgruntled customers are your friend. You just have to distinguish between the uh, ones who may be frustrated and are right 
versus the ones who uh, are off their meds. And frankly, I know of a few cases where they have admitted that they stopped taking their medication. Hi, Greg. Thanks for coming. Um, just a quick question. Given the nature of the, the marketplace, and there, there's a very real possibility that, that a, um, a competitor may arise that creates a better platform, and people will use that you know, as, as, a, as an alternative to your platform. I'm just wondering, is, does your company do anything um, in terms of like thinking ahead or thinking about competitors that may arise? Um, I know that you say you don't have a business plan, but it must cross your mind at some point. Um, gee, you know, what, what if somebody builds a better platform and kind of, uh, you know, will you sell then? I mean, uh, it, well, <laughs> try and get as much money as you can. And <laughs> yeah, we'd like to have as few thoughts as possible. But the, the deal is that maybe someone will do something similar to what we do that will serve the uh, community better. And uh, maybe we'll adapt and respond in time and... Uh, Maybe not. We do pay attention to what's going out, what's happening on the web. Uh, we do inc make slow incremental improvements to what's there. Look at uh, the San Francisco bicycles category. You'll see on the index pages little thumbnails of photos from the ads. So we do slowly experiment incrementally on the site and improve it. Um, as for the future, if someone starts to really just uh, capture our audience, we will have to make a tough uh, decision then. But our big advantage, again, is that we run as a community service, and we don't uh, owe anyone uh, anything except for the community. We've never taken a loan. We've never taken money uh, from a venture capitalist. No one has ever invested in us. And uh, Jim runs the company pretty lean. So uh, people don't have much uh, leverage on us. You got run lightning round real fast, real fast. Um, Craig, I just wanted to ask you to go back to a couple of comments you made about uh, news. And you said you, you, you have looked at ways to try and uh, get honest news or news that's close to the truth. What problems have you found? It sounds like it would be pretty easy to put up a category for community news and allow people to post information there. So what are the issues that, that have come up? Um, basically, no one has figured out how to come up with a system uh, which effectively produces uh, trustworthy stuff um, in a reliable way. I have some hopes for collaborative filtering and thought that technology would be uh, developed by now and in use by maybe a site like uh, Daylife. My disclosure there is I have a, a token investment. Uh, but that's still a future. What's collaborative filtering? Uh, the idea that people work together to vote up or down stories depending on how important they think it is and how trustworthy the particular story is. Like uh, Dig kind of works that way, uh, Yahoo now has this buzz up thing, and so on. And there's also a slash dot. And uh, well, I thought someone would have uh, cracked that code by now, but it's taking much longer. And uh, so I just don't know. It's uh, frustrating because you know we could use something like that this year. But do you not trust um, crowdsourcing? Uh, crowdsourcing hasn't, no one's found the right way to make it work yet. Crowdsourcing will be a big part of things, but I actually argue for a mix of both professional and citizen journalism. The deal is, is that uh, I tell people professional journalists, uh, journalism, the model is there's professional editing and fact checking prior to publication. The Let's say stereotypical model of blogging is publication with uh, no fact checking. And of course, you find exceptions on both sides, which is one reason I'm involved with the folks at factcheck.org in a token way, but they're important. And so, fact checking is a, a big deal. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I may get embroiled in it because, again, now that I've been getting involved in some of the political stuff, I've been. Uh, present at some things where I wonder if I should publish them or fact check others who are saying things which uh, misrepresent things. The answer is yes. 